What's going on, Caleb? And we're back again. This is part two of our course, and we're in the section Why We Learning Programming, Editor and Comments. So, um, first and foremost, I encourage you to always read the stuff here on the right hand side, and there's also a lot more, as so. But first, I'm just after you read everything, let's just go ahead and get get started really so pretty much this here on the right hand side in a nutshell is saying that a double slash backslash like so is a comment and it says this is a comment that only it pretty much means the computer will ignore it so go ahead and do a double backslash and pretend to write a comment this is another comment do a little smiley face you can type whatever you want in here it doesn't really matter the computer is going to completely ignore all that so that's pretty good. And also, what it's saying, it's saying right down here, if you read the directions, it's saying the computer will ignore it. And then it says on lines four, find the length of the word cake and multiply it by nine. Well, that's pretty easy. Like we did before, we just do quotes, quotes, cake, ta uh, go over dot length. And this will figure our length of our cake, which is 4. And then we're going to times it by 9. To do the times, it's a little asterisk. And then we're going to hit 9. And we also need a semicolon at the end, because after every statement, you put a semicolon. So just remember to put semicolons pretty much at the end of everything. And go ahead and run this. And as you can see, that's correct. So we can just go ahead and go on to the next exercise. Now, over here, it just tells you what are you learning and what is JavaScript used for. It's used to make websites, building applications, games, accessing information, databases, organization, etc. So all you have to do on this one, just click the Run button. And this little pop-up says, this is an example of using JavaScript to create some interaction on a website. Click OK to continue. OK. And that was it. Moving on to number three, interactive JavaScript. Let me go ahead and reset this. It is saying you can use interactions by typing in the confirm and then within parentheses quotes whatever you want and then it's going to give you an OK and cancel button. So OK. So pretty much all you have to do is type in confirm parentheses quotes and you can type whatever you want in here. And you have to finish it off with a semicolon. And just go ahead and click Run. Is YouTube awesome? Go ahead and click OK. Now, like I said, you can put anything you want in there. And that was correct, so let's go ahead and continue on to our next exercise. And once again, I'm going to reset this. And this is saying pretty much you can prompt things and pretty much when you prompt something it asks it's asking the user to put an in input and you can put variables to prompts later on you can see a lot more demonstrations of this but it's a way of getting information from the user so what we have to do here is we have to write down prompt prompt and then within parentheses it's gonna say where are you from and then a little semicolon and go ahead and run that and it says where are you from I'm gonna say YouTube go ahead and click OK and it's gonna say correct YouTube you're from YouTube and continuing on remember to be reading all the stuff right here on the sides because this is really important I'm just kinda skimming over it as you can see it's talking about numbers and strings I'm going to go ahead and reset this. And what it wants you to do, it says, to write a string, surround the string with quotes. What is your name? And it, oh, actually, that wasn't the uh, directions. Uh, the directions were, write a string with at least three words and find the length of the string. Length counts every character in the string, including spaces. Hmm. OK. So pretty much, we can write a string that says, Caleb is an is an awesome teacher like that 
and we just do dot length and remember your colon go ahead and run that and anything past or it has to have at least three words and past ten um, ten strings ten characters and each character is a string as so like right here that before up to the B a space counts as a uh, character as long as any kind of special characters kind of like a, a colon or a, a I'm an asterisk or anything like this these are all special characters right there and just go ahead and continue on to the next thing booleans okay so these are pretty much just true and false it's a good way of um, testing whether or not something's true really good for if statements and stuff further on down but a simple one of these would be well for it says it says write the code that will say true if I'm coding like a champ and has more than 10 characters well this is pretty easy um, really simple if you're reading the uh, um, the information up top in here it pretty much tells you how to do this so you have to put this um, exactly like I'm putting it or else you will get this wrong yeah um, I'm coding like a champ exclamation mark make sure that's all in quotes then dot length and then you just do the little greater than greater than sign and then you do zero and then make sure to put a colon and go ahead and run it and it says it's true as you can see here it's true now if we said it's less than zero obviously that's going to give us false because that's probably about how many characters do you think that is we find that out just by doing this that's 24 characters so if we do this is 20, if we're, it's pretty much saying that this 24 is greater than 0. And that's true, right? Is this not true that 24 is greater than 0? That's pretty much all it is saying. And it's saying it's true. So, to make this false, we'd have to go like this and run it. And that'd be false. Anyways, this is a little additional right there, but you went ahead and finished this section right here. It's pretty easy. And if we just continue on to our next section, we'll leave and pick up here in the next video, learning how to use console.logs and making the computer think. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, um, make sure to leave them down below in the description. Also, make sure to like, favorite, thumbs up the video, subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time, peace.